ndani kithure kindike kusiana na mustakabali wa taifa kusiana na mambo ya usalama sasa hivi arguments that uh, began in 2018 allow me to invite uh, the cabinet secretary for interior and national administration professor kindiki to take us through the rest of the session thank you Thank you, Raymond. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you've been uh, informed, this morning, my colleague, Minister Tom and I, and our teams from Kenya and the United Kingdom, have had a full morning engagement and the purpose of our engagement today was to review the now ongoing security compact arrangement between Kenya and the United Kingdom, which has defined our areas of cooperation in the matters of the security of our two countries. This arrangement began sometimes back in 2015, was refreshed in 2018, and we've just signed off a new phase to allow Kenya and the United Kingdom to continue collaborating in the fight against terrorism in the fight against against cyber crime in the fight against organized transboundary crime including but not limited to uh, trafficking in persons and also illicit financial flows and an, a wide array of cooperation to ensure that our criminal justice system is able to be able to help the country to be stable and safe for all our citizens and all other people who are lawfully in our country. I am happy, therefore, to confirm that we have signed a renewal of the joint uh, security compact between Kenya and the United Kingdom. I want also to confirm that uh, we have looked at uh, possibly expanding the areas of cooperation under the compact. And one of the things that uh, is an outcome of uh, what we have just signed off is that we have identified the need to strengthen the flow of illicit financial uh, activities and, 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 and to be able to rein in on um, money laundering and the financing of terrorism and other illegal activities. Other than that, we have also signed a letter of intent for cooperation between Kenya and the United Kingdom in information sharing with regard to maritime security. And therefore, going forward, our teams will be finalizing on the action plan so that our two countries can collaborate in enhancing um, a maritime security by sharing information and learning from the experiences of each other. Other than that, we have, over be, we have also been able to sign off this morning a framework or an agreement for cooperation in the area of training of our National Police Service. And we are going to develop a detailed uh, action and activity plan to ensure 
that we leverage on the long experience of uh, the United Kingdom to be able to support Kenya to enhance our policing capabilities. Already that collaboration has been going on, but we want to escalate it into a new and fresh level and also to tailor it to be able to respond to the ever-changing uh, security challenges that Kenya is facing. And therefore, that uh, training support is a welcome support because as Kenya, we have decided that we are going to have a two-pronged approach to our policing. And the one approach will be to continue strengthening the ordinary day-to-day -day policing activities. And, but at the same time, we want to continually develop the capacity of our tactical specialized units within the National Police Service that help us to combat, to detect, and also combat complicated and sophisticated criminal activities, including the uh, cattle rustling and banditry, uh, terrorism, and also money laundering. And therefore, the support that uh, is being given to the tactical arms or, or units within our National Police Service will go a long way in enhancing Kenya's preparedness to ensure that we have a stable country, which is good for our citizens and to all other people who are within our territory. I also want to make two, three other remarks before I invite my counterpart to make his remarks. And firstly is to, to say that um, the friendship between Kenya and the United Kingdom is long-standing, it is entrenched, and it is long-term. We appreciate what the United Kingdom has done to support Kenya on the basis of mutual respect and reciprocity over the years. And we have no reservations whatsoever to work our way out and to make sure that we sustain this relationship so that our, the people of our two countries can enjoy shared prosperity, even as we look into the future. Secondly, the remark I wanted to make is just to emphasize and underscore that Brit uh, the United Kingdom has remained a key partner for Kenya in the area of the fight against corruption and the fight also against illicit financial flows as well as money laundering. In that respect, we have been able to agree to uh, a, a, a program whereby they will continue supporting us even as we uh, manage that space because just like terrorism, the flow of illicit uh, finances is an international and transboundary uh, criminal activity and it requires international support, international collaboration. Lastly, uh, in the past, <laughs> present and in the future, the United Kingdom is also supporting Kenya to ensure that we uh, remove the threat of a cyber, uh, as the, the threat of, uh, of that comes through the cyberspace. And therefore, we want to commit ourselves to ensure that uh, over and above the framework documents that have been signed, we are going to rapidly develop uh, action plans which should be concluded in the next two weeks or so, so that we can have uh, this uh, program running into the future, making sure that our countries are uh, aligned and looking at our stability from a common perspective. Otherwise, I think uh, 
I want to leave it there. I will allow a minister, a Tom, to make his remarks. And after that, we will allow one or two questions, uh, not because we are running away, but because the minister is here on a very short time span and he has a huge program and we don't want to delay him. Uh, we would want him to achieve all the objectives of his trip. Minister, you are welcome to Kenya and thank you for honoring us with your visit this morning. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. It's, uh, it's an enormous pleasure to be with the Cabinet Secretary this morning. The agenda that he has set out has been one that we've been working on together for a long time. It's ambitious, it's based on the needs of both of our nations and all of our people, on reinforcing and securing the living bridge that binds us between the communities that live in either country and for many of our citizens in both. And it's about looking at the challenges that we all face. Because the reality is, as the Minister has set out this morning, as the Cabinet Secretary has set out this morning, the isolation of the old days doesn't exist anymore. The challenges that face the region at sea, on land, in cyberspace, challenge us both and challenge us together. And so working together is the only way to secure the British people, just as it's the only way to secure the Kenyan people. So this partnership, building on a long and deep history of friendship, is exactly what we need to be doing together. And I'm very proud to have a friend in Professor Kendiki, who is showing the leadership in fighting money laundering, corruption, terrorism and state threats, all together and all united. If I may, I'm going to use this opportunity as well to say thank you publicly to the Kenyan people for the participation of Kenyan troops in the coronation parade this weekend. It meant an awful lot to the king, and the prime minister mentioned it to me particularly, that seeing troops from Kenya there was a reminder of the depth of the partnership and the importance of the friendship. And it was very touching. So to you, my friend, thank you. It was a great pleasure to see them and to welcome them. Now this document that we've signed today and the action plan that we're going to be finalizing in the coming fortnight is a living document. Because just as our nations have evolved and changed, just as the opportunities for our people have developed, sadly too, the threats have changed too. And they will continue to change. And so what we've done today is we've laid the seed for a foundation that will grow in strength. And it will do two things. It will defend the British people, of course. That is why I'm here. And it will defend the Kenyan people. That is why you're here. But it will do one more thing. It will deepen Kenya's role as a regional power and it will expand Kenya's voice as a global siren for what matters in this world. So thank you very much, Cabinet Secretary, for your welcome and for your friendship. It's a privilege to be here. Thank you. Any questions or you're good? I can donate my mic. <clears throat> yes. Okay, my name is Leposo from Sky News. Uh, so one of the sticking points on the renewal of the security pact between the Kenya and the UK from the 
Kenya Parliament was in regard to the Agnes Wanjiro murder. And so I just wanted to find out like what has been the progress on the investigations by, of the murder of Agnes Wanjiro by, uh, allegedly by a British soldier. Uh, I, I think that that uh, matter has not been the subject of our today's discussion. Maybe it has been the subject of discussion elsewhere and in another um, arrangement which has already been uh, approved by Parliament. But uh, all I can say for now is Kenya and the United Kingdom are cooperating to ensure that uh, justice is done in that matter because neither Kenya nor the United Kingdom condones uh, injustice or impunity. And I think uh, the progress has been made, but I think uh, that has not been the subject for discussion this morning. Uh, we'll be looking at closure uh, very soon on the matter of uh, the death of uh, Ms. Wanjiro. Uh, which occurred some years back, uh, and it's also part of perhaps what uh, would happen when you have uh, interactions, you expect a few unfortunate incidents, but the two countries are resolving the matter diplomatically, quietly, and also in the spirit of friendship and openness. And when the matter is concluded fully, we'll be able to report progress. Uh, my name is Hassan Mugambe from Citizen TV. Uh, of the agreed upon um, pointers, what is the implementation uh, time frame? Minister? Well, may I just start by saying some of it has already started. Uh, the UK government is already uh, supporting with 1.7 billion shillings a year counterterrorism work in Kenya. This is a huge contribution to a very large effort by the Kenyan government. But it's a contribution that matters fundamentally to the British people. So that's why this investment is there. There's also development already ongoing in terms of maritime security, the work going on around Mombasa, and indeed in the sharing of procedures and techniques that we have been training each other and training ourselves with in uh, the partnerships that we've developed over years. But the reality is for many, many years, Kenya has been an important training area for the United Kingdom. We know that. What's now becoming the case is that Kenya is not just a training place, but a training partner. We're training each other. One last one. Thank you very much. And thanks for coming. God bless. Kenya, God bless the United Kingdom. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Naam mtazamaji ni kikao cha wanahabari ambacho kimetamatika ambapo vile vile waziri wa usalama wa ndani humu nchini Kithure Kindiki na waziri wa usalama kwenye taifa la Uingereza umefanya kikao hicho na wanahabari kupeana tu vile vile mwelekeo baada ya kufanya kikao kuingia kwenye mkataba baina ya mataifa hayo mawili ambayo yamekuwa yakishirikiana kwenye masuala ya kudumisha usalama kati yao na kwenye mataifa yao vile vile na pia wamezungumzia baadhi ya masuala ya usalama wa baharini usa, uhalifu wa mtandaoni na kupigana vita dhidi ya ugaidi miongoni mwa masuala mengine ya kiusalama ambayo watakuwa wanashirikiana kuweza kuyadhibiti kwenye mataifa hayo mtazamaji nakwenda kwenye pumziko fupi takaporejea nitakuwa